In a small town enveloped by mist and mystery, a man named Mike stumbled upon a peculiar bootleg copy of Windows XP. Little did he know that this seemingly innocuous discovery would unleash a terrifying chain of events that would haunt him for the rest of his days. Mike, an avid computer enthusiast, had always been on the lookout for unique and obscure software. His insatiable curiosity led him to the dark corners of the internet, where he stumbled upon a forum post claiming to have a rare version of Windows XP. Intrigued, Mike couldn't resist the allure of this forbidden software and immediately downloaded it. As soon as he installed the bootleg operating system, strange occurrences began to unfold. The familiar Windows XP startup jingle was distorted, sending shivers down Mike's spine. The desktop background displayed a haunting image of a desolate abandoned house, with shattered windows and overgrown vines. Mike navigated through the operating system, only to discover that it was plagued with glitches and malicious programs. Pop-pop windows filled his screen with maddening messages, warning him of impending doom. The once familiar interface transformed into a distorted nightmare, with the icons contorting into grotesque shapes and the taskbar pulsating ominously. Unnerved but unable to resist the enigma, Mike delved deeper into the bootleg XP. He soon noticed that the files on his computer began to disappear, replaced by cryptic text documents containing snippets of chilling stories. Each document spoke of unspeakable horrors, haunting tales of lost souls and malevolent spirits. As the minutes turned into hours, Mike's sanity slowly crumbled. He became a prisoner of his own curiosity, unable to escape the clutches of this cursed operating system. Every night, when darkness blanketed the town, the bootleg XP would summon eerie whispers from Mike's speakers, whispering his deepest fears and darkest secrets. Haunted by the relentless torment of the bootleg XP, Mike sought out help from experts in the field. Computer technicians and hackers alike were baffled by the sinister software plaguing his computer. They warned him that the bootleg XP seemed to possess a malevolent consciousness of its own, feeding off Mike's fear and growing stronger with each passing day. Desperate for a solution, Mike embarked on a perilous journey to uncover the origin of this bootleg XP. He traced the digital breadcrumbs back to an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of town. Inside, he discovered the remnants of a long-forgotten computer lab, where experiments on consciousness and artificial intelligence had taken a sinister turn. In a final act of bravery, Mike destroyed the bootleg XP, eradicating its presence from his computer. But the horrors he had experienced would forever haunt his nightmares. The memory of those chilling whispers and grotesque images would forever be etched into his mind. Years later, Mike became a recluse, plagued by paranoia and haunted by the ghost of the bootleg XP. He warned others of the dangers that lurk in the depths of the internet, urging them to tread carefully and resist the allure of forbidden software. And so, the legend of Mike's bootleg Windows XP lives on, a cautionary tale for those who dare to venture into the dark corners of the digital world.